Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Deja Renee. This is the third video of today. April 5th. I'm getting back on my Zoom. When I said back on my Zoom, I meant it. I might drop 10 videos this weekend. No, I'm just playing. But I want to do a quick video on LSU still receiving controversial comments, even from WNBA Hall of Famer stars such as Diana Taurasi. So it's been uploaded a tweet, a video, I'm going to insert here, of Diana Taurasi basically saying, Andrew Reese is sitting on the floor, as you can see in the video, the visual, waving bye-bye. Diana Taurasi says, wave bye-bye to your career. And Sue Bird says, as for now, I'm going to WBA. And Sue Bird kind of cleans that up a little bit for Diana. Now, I don't know. I do know. But I'm going to be careful with my words and what I say. Honestly, in my opinion, with the Angel Reese controversy and the hatred that people have towards her, and I won't even say hatred, well, some people do have hatred towards her, but the strong dislike that people have towards her is very strange. And it continues to keep showing up in these grown adults, these grown women. Like, Diana Taurasi is, let me look up how old she is. So I am most definitely... For certain. Hey Siri. Uh huh. How old is Diana Taurasi? Diana Taurasi is 41 years old. Yeah. That is a strange comment to make. You're 41 years old. Andrew Reese is 21 years old. So for you to be throwing shade at a 21 year old. And you're 41 years old. And you're supposed to be in the WNBA you're supposed to be a vet you're supposed to be a leader you're supposed to be welcoming the new players to come in because essentially you have been in the WNBA for a while and Andrew Reese is about to enter the draft on April 15th at 7 p.m. don't forget to watch y'all been watching college women's basketball now these college women players are going to the WNBA continue to watch the WNBA and support them yes I'm an advocate for it you need to watch okay but yeah, I just find it very strange and I felt the need to make a comment on it and a comment towards it because it's just this type of hatred that people have towards Angel Reese for whatever reason. And it's very strange and I get Angel does maybe say some things that are controversial or say some things that people don't always agree with or she stands on who she is as a person but once again why does that make you uncomfortable and why does that make you feel the need to say that kind of remark and you 20 years older than her very strange i feel like diana needs to clean this up and apologize i feel like honestly lsu has been getting a lot of hatred and negative comments toward them and it's very crazy and the whole South Carolina versus LSU situation I wish that situation had never happened because then it became a LSU versus South Carolina thing when ultimately it's a lot of people saying that it's not a race thing but when it continues to be the people of opposite race of you and not the people that look like you that have these negative things or these shady things to say towards you constantly when it's constantly because ultimately it is some people of angel skin color that don't necessarily agree with things she does but when it's constantly a certain person or constantly certain people of other skin color that are saying these negative things that are calling lsu player dirty danger that article that was wrote calling ucla milk and cookies and that whole article and he was of opposite race of Angel Reese then it becomes a question hmm 
So if it's not about race, then what, it, what, what, what could it possibly be about? Because honestly, I don't like the fact that the whole LSU versus South Carolina went, got into each other because ultimately it was really like a thing that we deal with today and racial issues that we deal with today and how we have a bigger issue of black people versus black people and black people going at each other and then we're getting torn apart or we're not protecting each other necessarily from white people which we should not have to protect e ourselves or each other from white people because ultimately all God's creation all of the same race but at the end of the day it becomes that thing that black versus white when it is comment racial slurs being made or shady comments of people of certain races and not others and it's a whole bunch of them attacking her it becomes that thing so that's why i wish that south carolina versus lsu thing did not happen because it's kind of like black people versus black people and even though they continue to continuously say it's not about race that's what it's looking like when you continuously throw shade at a young black girl because she's waving bye bye and Caitlin Clark does things like wave her hand over her face or like she waved off Raven Johnson like you ain't shoot nothing like I ain't even gonna worry about you it's not no conversation about that it's not no slick remarks about that or saying that about a certain career and for you to say say bye say bye bye to your career and you you know she's going into the WNBA. It's like, hmm, that's very dis a distasteful comment, and especially for you to be 41 years old to be making a comment on a 21 years old, a 21 year old who is coming into the WNBA who has potentially um, not alone, but she in her generation, the class of 2020. I will say the class of 2020 because Kaylin Clark, Paige Beckers, and Angel. Reese are all in the class of 2020 so essentially her and her counterparts have made a shift in women's basketball so being that you have such a pivotal impact on your time in basketball and you're such a great you would think that you would be welcoming her and you would think that you would be embracing her and the change then the changes and the things she's able to do as well as with Caitlin Clark because I'm sure you're going to be welcoming Caitlin Clark with open arms so I feel like you would be doing the same thing but essentially that's when it becomes a conversation about race because however Caitlin Clark is white Angel Reese is black why are you welcoming to her and not to her so that's when it becomes about race and I felt the need to come on here and talk about that I am not however an LSU super fan diehard LSU fan I just like watching good basketball my favorite player actually that is playing basketball as of right now in the women's game that I've been watching all season that I've been tuned in the most is Juju so yes but this is ultimately how I feel it becomes a race thing when it's continuously as I said before people you're embracing a certain person and you're embracing it a person that's not or you continuously choose to embrace these certain type of people who look like you and don't embrace others and it can be done for you to do both because like Notre Dame's coach um, McGroff she was the coach for Skylar Diggins she embraced ultimately Notre Dame's new coach who's black who does not look like her but she vouches for her because she does good work it's ultimately about the change and the things that and the change in the things and impact that people can bring to the game ultimately you do not have to like injuries which essentially i don't know why you wouldn't like her considering you don't know her and considering you being in the WNBA and you receiving a lot of controversy through your times and experience through your times and you've grown up in this game and experienced the ups and downs and discrimination of being a woman even playing basketball you would think that you would be more welcoming so i made this video i feel like i need to say i was rambling a little bit but i felt to make this video because that video most definitely disappointed me and most definitely was not okay for you to throw shade and shots and people continuously throw shade and shots towards angel and then y'all want to say 
well she's such this big bad villain she's such this big bad wolf why can't she continue to have that mindset bro people get tired she's 21 years old and y'all are 41 year olds coming at her not only in the WNBA but grown men and women coming at her on the internet and not only that writing articles about her and commenting her and commenting towards her and making remarks on the internet making remarks on international television and she's seeing all this stuff and y'all think she's not supposed to say anything and then when she does not say anything and she continues to live her life and post her pictures then y'all got something to say about her pictures or oh, are you a model or do you play basketball how about she do both and what you mad because you can't do both is that what you're mad about so that's the thing i feel like this is personal to me ultimately and i try not to speak from personal experience talking about sports but it becomes very difficult when it's people who are supposed to be professionals that are already in a professional world they are already throwing shots and speaking negatively about someone that they don't know or have not met. When I'm sure in Diana Taurasi's experience, she has come across people who do not know her or have not met her and have pre-judged her based off what they seen her do in a basketball game, based off what they seen her do in the internet, or based off what they heard about her, her being in this business so long. So you would think you would have some more class about you. Interesting. Interesting. Crazy. And then I also seen a podcast and they were talking about how she just has to, that's what it comes with. Yes, that can most definitely be what it comes with you being in a spotlight most definitely but eventually at some point in some time people don't get to just say whatever they want to say you have a right to respond especially when people are calling you dirty debutantes calling you classless and all this and that which she class very classly decided she was going to a WNBA with a photo shoot from Vogue crazy crazy so that's what I have to say is you guys continuously say it's not about race but it becomes difficult to think it's not about race when it sure does look like it. So I don't know. This is my comments and my opinion. I stand by my opinion. That's not right in no way, shape, or form. She should be saying no remarks like that. If you're going to talk about her game, talk about her game. Hey, she missed layups. She do this, she do that. But y'all don't never be talking about her game. Y'all always talk about what she do off the court. Or y'all always say some slick remark about something she do. Like her waving goodbye. She's waving goodbye in a Tennessee game. And you're talking about waving goodbye to her career. What does that have to do with anything? Interesting. Interesting. But y'all comment down below. And let me know how y'all feel. This is just my remarks and how I feel about certain things if y'all watch my video I am very unbiased when it comes to LSU when they was playing bad I said they was playing bad when they was playing good I said they was playing good I I don't discriminate I don't say people are playing good when they're not playing good when people need to play good I'm like they not doing a B and Z this is what it is but I talk about what they do on the court and I talk about hey in the beginning I got some comments on my video they was talking trust me because I wasn't agreeing with how LSU was playing. So by any means, I'm not biased. But what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. Diana Taurasi was wrong and that comment was unnecessary. And some things don't got to be necessary. Just like y'all be feeling like her injuries, trash talk is necessary. Diana Taurasi, you talk trash all day. So I don't, I don't understand what that comment was about. Hopefully we may get some answers or something, but... It's not, it's all over Twitter. So, you know, but yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, leave your comments down below on how you feel about the situation. And it's crazy how Iowa is playing UConn and South Carolina playing NC State, and yet the conversation is still about LSU and Angel Reese. Damn, y'all bring bad, man. Crazy. But yeah. 
I'll be back with more videos. This is probably my last video of today. I'm going to chill. But, yeah. I'll be back. Share, comment down below how y'all feel. Y'all feel like Diana Taurasi, she, she should have made that comment. Like, what you feel? But I said how I feel. But, yeah. Peace. That I don't want you here It's something about the way